Hey everybody in here. I'm standing in the door of my tiny house because it's super dark back there and I don't feel like turning on any lights because it's raining. It rained a little bit overnight and the temperature is cool and everything is going great. But I wanted to show you something real quick after I finished uh, editing yesterday's video. Well, this happened. What is going on? These are not my chickens. They were in my yard. They were in the chicken run. You know who these are? These belong to Mr. Lucas. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Three? Oh my gosh, there's three of them over here. I wonder if Mr. Cockadoo is here. Okay, oh, there's four. One, two, three, four. I'm sure the fifth one is around here somewhere. I heard some squawking. They were in my chicken run. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me go around the trees here. Oh my gosh. I don't see the fifth one. I'm sure it's around somewhere. So I'm going to get these sweet babies back to Mr. Lucas. I'm only seeing four, so let's get them home. Come on, sweet babies. Go on. Time for you to go home. Where's the fifth one? Oh, don't go down there. Mr. Lucas over here, he says the fifth one is over at the house. <laughs> yeah. Come on, babies. Here, you go that way. I'll go this way. Come on. <laughs> they want to go elsewhere. <laughs> Come on, babies. You got to go across the street. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. They're going up the hill now. Yeah. Uh, they may be wanting to go over by that wood pile. They like to kind of chill out over there. A pretty little turtle. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it right here. You going to take it home with you? No. What am I going to do with the turtle? There we go. The last one. Oh, I'm so glad they're all together. That scared me, Mr. Lucas. I thought maybe something happened to the to the one. They're all five back in here. This is the best chicken run I think I've ever seen. They were looking, they were looking for a, a cool spot where it were. Yep. I get, to get in there. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. Pretty chickens. I'm so glad they're back. Whoops. They're golden comets. I think that's what Selena told me. Look at this, they painted the, the wood green. It looks good. That was so funny. But anyhow, yeah, the incubator is still going and it's been between 45 and 50, even overnight. My solar is handling it. So since it's gonna be raining most of today, I think, I think I'm gonna can up some stuff. I'm gonna start with six jars of stewed tomatoes and I think there's gonna be two much to fit in these six jars so what I'll do with the leftover stewed tomatoes is I'm gonna chop up some more veggies and put some more like jalapeno peppers in it and make some more salsa and I'm gonna can it all up today I don't know if I'll get to the mock pineapple but yep I'm gonna get to it I got my tomatoes and veggies stewing and I've got my cans sterilizing in that jar. I, I don't really need to sterilize them because I'm going to pressure can this recipe um, but I do want to get them good and hot so yep it's almost time to pressure can. I got them all canned up and it's eight pints. I had to use two of my wide mouth and look at this. I've only got this much left. I don't know what I'm going to do with it but I'll do something with it today. Got the lid on and I turned up the heat so we need to wait for it to vent and then you guys all know the next steps. There we go, 10 minutes. 
I can't describe to you how exciting this is for me that I'm able to use this pressure canner and do it right. The whole process is just so much fun because I'll be able to, you know, store food for long periods of time, you know, and foods that uh, can't be water baths, so that's awesome. Yeah, I decided not to do the uh, salsa, um, but I tasted this, these stewed tomatoes. I didn't taste them the last time. I didn't taste them this time, and oh, they're delicious. I don't, I don't know if it's the actual recipe or if it's just the tomatoes are just so tasty, but it is delicious. So I'll figure out something to do with that leftover uh, stewed tomato stuff. Um, I mean, I could just eat it like a soup right now. Anyhow, yeah, I got about 13 minutes more to go. Then I get a shutter down and hopefully they will all seal. I know the recipe book says you only have to keep it at 10 uh, pounds of pressure, but like the last time, I like to keep it between 10 and 11 because I'd rather it be just a little bit high than just a little bit too low because then you got to start over. So this is kind of my sweet spot right here, and that is perfect. Three, two, one. Yep, still at 11. It started rising just a little bit, but that's okay. Got to shut it down, let it depressurize, and then, well, you guys know the rest, right? Oh, they're not even out of the canner yet, and I heard my first ping. They are out of the canner, and it looks like almost all of them is sealed. I'm not going to press down on them right now because it's just too hot. They're still boiling inside there. Can you see that? Yeah. So I got eight more jars of stewed tomatoes, and I am just absolutely thrilled. Out of my mind. So happy. Let's see how the hatchery is going. Yep, 99.5, 46%. It, it, it had gotten over, oh, 52%, so I went ahead and put it in a jar. I've got all the vent holes open. But, you know, I think I'm going to be able to do this, you guys. I decided to use the rest of that, you know, stewed tomato stuff. I just added some dehydrated beef, some freeze-dried corn, and some cumin, and yeah, I think that's it. So, I'm just going to make me a couple, basically, steak fajitas. And it's going to be tasty. Mmm, that's going to be delicious. It has been an absolutely amazing day. It rained throughout the night and a little bit this morning and the sun has been coming in and out of the clouds and everything is working out great. Um, all but two of the jars have pinged, so there's still two left, but um, they haven't even cooled down all the way, so I'm sure they'll ping and seal as well. Um, you know, I, I think this is going to be it for today. Um, I'm feeling good, feeling happy. I'm just so grateful that I can sit outside and not feel like I'm sweltering, like I'm dying, like I can't breathe. And it's uh, kind of like that right now. There's a cool breeze in the air, so <sighs> it's been a good day. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.